Oh, hello. You're up late? I mean, I am too, obviously. I'm just a bit of a night owl, is all. I didn't know you were as well, apparently. To be up at this hour. But life is full of surprises, huh? For instance, I wasn't expecting you to notice me. Much less approach the window. I mean, the slit in the curtains was so narrow, I had no idea you'd notice I was there. Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't stalking you. It wasn't stalking, necessarily. I mean... I was watching you for a short amount of time. Relatively. I just... Um, I just... Oh, this is, is this your place? Oh, silly me. I thought this was my place. You know I was thinking, who is this strange person sleeping in my bed? <laughs> Not that you're strange, because I'm the one who's watching you sleep after all, but um, I was just a little shocked is all, since I thought there was someone else in my place, and uh, that's, that's it. That's why I was watching you. I was nervous to enter uh, what I thought was my place when there was someone I didn't know inside. So I was waiting at the window. Mm hmm. Yeah, I know. It's. It's kind of weird that I would try to enter my own home from the window and not the door like, you know, a normal person, but, uh. Variety is the spice of life! Why limit home entering to just doors, am I right? That gets old fast. My story isn't adding up. Because this isn't the first time you've seen me stalking you from your window. Well, uh, that, uh, that changes the calculus a bit. Are you sure it wasn't someone else those other 57 times? I mean, however how many times there were. <laughs> okay, fine. Got me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to cause you any trouble. I really don't want to bother you. It's just... It's just you're the only good thing in my life. And Even though it's freezing cold out here in the rain... Watching you always fills me with such warmth and... Huh? You want to let me in? To... To get out of the rain? I know it's wet and cold out here, but I've been stalking you and you've just been writing me... Okay, okay. If, if, if you insist, I won't argue. Just move to the side a bit so I can slide through. <sighs> wow, it's a lot warmer inside. I mean, of course, I'm still soaking wet, but this is such an upgrade. <laughs> and, wow. I've seen the inside so many times, but... This is the first time I've actually been inside of your home. It's like I'm stepping into Holy Land. I actually feel really guilty, like I'm desecrating it. <laughs> I'm so glad you let me in. I always wanted to enter, but I was a little too nervous and I didn't want to have to break your window. I imagine it would have been quite expensive to replace and I wouldn't be able to repay you because, well, I'm broke. <laughs> oh, but I'm so sorry. I'm dripping wet and getting water all over your dry floor. Well, it was dry, but now it's not. Do you have a towel or something? I'll clean this up right away. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. What do you mean it can wait? What could be more important than the very floor you walk on? Well, other than you, of course. Oh, what? What do you mean? You need to get me out of my clothes. I, I, I mean, 
I love you, and I know I said I'm dripping wet, but it's so soon. I need some makeup and... Uh, oh. You mean to get me in warmer clothes? <laughs> that... That would make a lot more sense than my fantasy. Well, okay then. If you have anything that'll fit me, I'll wear it. I'll try not to sniff it too much. Uh, what? Huh? What? Oh, yes, thank you for the towel. I'll get to work right away. Oh, sorry, was the towel to dry myself off? I thought you wanted me to dry the floor. Um, okay, sure, just hand me the change of clothes and I'll be back from the bathroom before you know it. Hello, I'm back. Like I said, I'm really sorry for getting your floor all wet, so if you're alright with it, I'd like to go in. Oh, you already dried it? You really didn't have to. You, you're already doing so much for me, I feel so guilty. I've been nothing but a burden. Doing it myself is the least I could do. But now that that's done, what should I do? I can understand if it's maybe maybe you want to send me home as soon as the rain settles down. Not that I have one. Look by the fireplace. <gasps> you, did you set this up for both of us? Y you really didn't have to. I I mean yes, I'm still freezing and laying by the fireplace would really help, but you didn't have need to do all this for me. After all, you're already done. I, I, I could have just laid down the floor, and but you set out two bedrolls so I could have some company. Uh, and, and you even laid out all these sacks. And not just the cheap ones. I spy some chocolate-covered almonds and the pretzels with the peanut butter in them. And there's even marshmallows to roast over the fire together. <laughs> That's so romantic. Oh, sorry. Was was I rambling? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up and join you by the fireplace now. Wow, this feels amazing. Laying by the fireplace with you. Snacking on trail mix. Thanks again, by the way. And I even get to sleep in a bedroll with you. Well, I'm not laying in a bedroll with you, unfortunately, but I'm in a bedroll and I'm sleeping with you. Well, not with you, but next to you. I'm sorry, I'm just blabbering like an idiot here. You probably get what I'm saying, trying to say, right? Right, right. Sorry, I'm overthinking, like I always do. Oh no, it's fine. If there's anything you want to ask me, please ask away. Like I said, you've been doing so much for me. Absolutely everything. There's no way I can decline your request, so ask away. I have nothing to hide. Wait, let me think. Okay, so maybe I do have a few things to hide, but... What would you expect from a stalker? But whatever you ask me, I won't hide from you. No, really, pinky promise. Oh, did you hear about what I whispered? About not having a home? Yeah, no, no, it's okay. I, I, I'll, I'll tell you. It, it, it's not a bother. If anything, I'll be happy to get it off of my chest. So where do I begin? Well, a while ago. Actually, no, the story starts before that. So there's something you should know about me. My defining trait is that I'm a useless piece of shit. I can't study, I can't work, I can't do chores, I really just can't focus on anything. I can't take two steps without breaking down, and I think you're the only exception, honestly. When I focus on you, all I get is giddy in my hands and feet just guide themselves and I can actually get stuff done. Like making a drawing of you or writing a love poem for you. 
I'd show you the latter, but I'd die of embarrassment. <laughs> but anyway, the point of the story is I'm a filthy parasite who contributes nothing to my household. Well, it's contributed. See, I was always a burden relying on my parents to pay bills until one day. Until one day, they got into an accident. My... My sister inherited the house, and after being fed up with my lack of any redeeming qualities, she finally kicked me out. And I don't blame her. I probably kicked me out, too. I don't have a job or anything, so I've just been staying at a motel nearby using my inheritance. Well, it's just about gone now. I even skipped out on meals trying to make it last longer. And even when I was still eating, it was just instant noodles. These snacks are the only food I've eaten in a while, actually. Thank you. And I'm sorry for bothering you with all this. I know you probably have enough problems on your own without me. I just... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Today was the last day I could afford to stay at the hotel. I've only got a pocket change now. I know I really should have taken steps to fix my future, but I always freeze up and it's so hard. But it's so much easier to just... To just not. The only steps I can take are towards you. No, no, I could never ask that of you. You don't have to let me stay here. I've been harassing you, to put it lightly, and you seriously want to let me stay with you? In your very home? Aren't you worried about your own safety? I'm obviously not right in the head. What if you wake up one day and... and or, what if you don't wake up? You order me to stay here with you? <laughs> oh, that's rich. But, well, I did say I couldn't decline your request, so, alright. An order is an order. Who am I to say no to you? Thank you. Will that be all then? Do you have any other orders for me? <laughs> Oh, did you hear my other whispers too then? About me regretting that I'm not truly laying in a bedroll with you? Um, well, you're the boss. Sure thing then. If you've got room for two in that bedroll, I'll gladly join you. Thank you for being so considerate about keeping me warm. Wow. This really is warmer. You're really warm. Oh, sorry. Am I being creepy? Uh, 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 um, try to put a lid on it. <sighs> this is the happiest day of my life. I never in a million years imagined I'd be living with you. Cuddling up next to you all snugly. Oh, not to be presumptuous. I can understand if you really think that this counts as cuddling. I mean, we are just next to each other. Not really putting our arms around each other or anything like that. Oh, if you ordered me to put my arms around you, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> Just a thought. Just thinking out loud here. Sorry if it bothered you. I I didn't mean to be a burden. You want me to stop calling myself a burden? Is that no order? Well, then I can't say no to you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.